Welcome to Stave Drools, I'm Stave van Groot, a Dutch artist. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can animate 3D shapes in Toon Squid. I've made this animation for my graphic novel, Horus Hippo Returns. I'm still working on it. It's a lot of work because I'm also going to include uh, this animation into the book. So it's going to be a flip book, but also a comic. And I'm just going to break down this scene I just did in Toon Squid and what kind of techniques I used to get this shot done. I'm just going to show you the first sketch I made. I just started out animating the platform uh, where the cameraman is, you know, filming the last scene of Horus Hippo in Egypt. When you animate in 2D, 3D objects are very difficult to animate because when you want to turn around an object, uh, a car or, you know, something with a lot of lines in it, it's very hard to do it very precisely. And I did some tests first and uh, when you draw objects, you need a perspective line or a, a horizon line and also a vanishing point or different vanishing points. And in this test, I had uh, a vanishing point that also changed so that you can, you know, get a little bit of a turnaround. And I wanted the shot to be a little bit more dynamic. So what I did is I uh, logged in on SketchUp and SketchUp is a free app or uh, you can also visit it uh, online. And I made this mock-up of the camera and also the platform. And I used that and traced it. And it's very difficult to have you know, all of these elements, so the, the wooden planks on the platform and also uh, the shape of the camera because it starts out from underneath. So uh, you look up to the platform and then it goes down and it also turns around. I imported uh, this video into Toon Squid and then I traced the platform and also uh, the camera. And I ended up with... Uh, this rough sketch and I also needed some ropes because the the platform is hanging from some ropes and to, in order to do that you need uh, the perfect uh, middle point of the platform and the only way you can do that is by drawing um, across uh, across the platform and then go straight ahead. So here you see the pivot point of all the ropes because all the ropes go to one point. And this point is also animated because when you look down on the platform, the ropes are, you know, in perspective. So I first made this uh, sketch of the platform and also of the camera and cameraman is turning it around so this is what I animated and then I added the, the cameraman in the sketch so here you see the animation with the the cameraman and then it zooms in so I took that and on a separate layer, I did the inks of the cameraman. And in order to uh, animate the ropes, I made symbols. So I'm going to the library. And I also uh, made symbols out of the ropes. And I animated the ropes using the keyframes. And you have to plan this out because sometimes the ropes are in front of the cameraman and then they you know disappear behind the cameraman so you need different layers to you know animate the same ropes and i'm just going to open up uh, the keyframes the pivot point is above and then you can animate and you can also see the arc of the rope that is following the the platform and i did that with all of the ropes 
And you know, for the dramatic effect, uh, so I'm going to show you uh, some of the pages that go before this scene. So I'm going to procreate. This is a page from uh, Horace Hippo Returns. And here you can see uh, they're shooting that scene of Horace Hippo in Egypt. And now it's seen from, from above. So here you see Horace Hippo and he's directing his own movie. And he will jump from a cliff and then onto a, a camel. And here you see, and it's very small, here you see the cameraman. And here's another shot, because uh, just before they start shooting, here is the cameraman, and here Horace Hippo will uh, jump off the cliff with the mummy, and then he will end up onto the camel. And here's a, a moving background, and here's a character who will you know, move the, the background uh, with, with a handle. So after this page, uh, this animation will start and it starts out on the left with the cameraman and on the right, you will see the animation of Horace Hippo jumping off the cliff. I've made uh, another uh, background of the set. So this is the background. And on top, I used the camera to zoom in into the animation. So I really needed to zoom in very up close. So all the inks and also the, the coloring of each frame is done in vectors because then you can zoom in. You cannot zoom in infinite because at the end, you know, it becomes a little bit blurry and you can only see it through the viewfinder. Great thing about Toon Squid is that you can adjust the size of your uh, animation. So I adjusted this to the size of the, the comic I'm going to publish. So this is how I made this animation and I'm going to use it uh, also as an animation, but especially for the graphic novel Horace Hippo Returns. I've made uh, a prequel to it or the first chapter of the story, which is called Horace Hippo of the silver screen and it's now available for free on apple books and i'll leave a link below this video if you want me to do more videos like this please let me know in the comments down below drawing is fun and practice makes perfect see you next time doodles if you want to see more tutorials on working in toon squid i've made a playlist just tap on the playlist and you can see all of the tutorials about toon squid